All right, so in this problem, we're trying to calculate the magnetic field around a solenoid. And you notice it's dependent here on this equation. So we did this already. We know that this is the permeability of uh, free space. So this only applies to magnetic fields, and it's this constant. 4 pi times 10 to the negative 7th. N, which is going to be the... Um, coil density, and then I, which is your current, okay? So in this problem, I give you all three of those values. Uh, you notice that our N here is 70 coils per meter. Now, do note this value sometimes is kind of a little arbitrary. It's kind of maybe hidden in there, but it will say coils per a certain amount, okay? Then you have your current, which is always measured in amps. And that would be 5 amps. Okay, I'm just gonna clear up the camera there. So you notice there, we, now we have our three values. Okay, so if we said this, the coil, the magnetic field of this solenoid is dependent on four pi times 10 to the negative seven. Okay, multiply by 70 coils per meter and five amps, okay? Now we're going to go ahead and grab our calculator. Let's go ahead and do 4 times, let's do 4 times pi times 10 to the negative 7. And we get that value, which is really small, but we're going to multiply times 70. And multiply times 5. And you get this, okay? So I'm going to say in scientific notation, that's 4.4. .4 times 10 to the negative, let's see, that's what, one, uh, uh, I believe that was negative four Teslas, which is your unit, okay, so this is a Tesla. Notice, super small number, but this is actually your final answer. So go ahead and try off the next one on your own calculator.